Hi, beautiful Gemini. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Gemini, this is going to be a little bit different here today because in a week I'm going on vacation and I'm actually going to be away for about four weeks. And so I didn't want to just do one week uh, thing here right now or like just one month um, because over the four weeks when I'm going to be away, I wanted you to sort of have a longer uh, energy to step into if you wanted to. So I have done a forecast for July, August, and September for you guys for love and career or love and jobs. Um, but you who knows me since before know that love will blend into a career and career will blend into love. And love is might not be your typical uh, divine counterpart situation. It might be love for yourself and so forth. And I've already done Aries and Taurus. And it's so much about the ascension process that is going on and why that's coming through so special like right now is because July and August and September you think you just come up with these things like I want to just give something like uh, a couple of months into the future and then it turns out it has a purpose <laughs> what again it has a purpose um so I feel like there's like a lead up to September there's like a a build up to September and in September we have a, a, a major breakthrough when it comes to higher frequencies and inviting them into our bodies and really send into a higher space, higher place, if you will. So we're going to see what comes up for you. I'm going to do an overall start with love and career uh, for July and then for August and then for September. And then if you're like good with that, good, that's exactly what I needed. Fine. Goodbye. Or you want to go deeper into the message. That's what, what the extended is going to be about. Um, then I'm going to go deeper into each and every month and see what else I can find for you. So we're going to start with love. The best of them all. Love for Gemini for July. Just breathe. Well, there seems to be a beautiful counterpart out there, or this could be just your connection with source. It looks very much like source as well, if you ask me. So we're going to see what that is about. <clears throat> And then you want something for love for August for Gemini. Love for August. You just met your source. And that was that. <laughs> well, there's no August. <clears throat> what is happening for Gemini in August? This is interesting. So they want something very specific. For some reason, I'm sensing both green. I'm sensing uh, like the crown, like the crown chakra, but I'm always talking about that as white, but in this deck, it's like um, it's an in, like indigo, indigo pinkish, indigo purple. What did I say? Green, indigo, and then what's another color that I felt? Okay, what's going on here? Love for Gemini in August. It's well deserved. It's a high vibrational love. It's an ascended love. Wow. Yeah, maybe that's why I felt <laughs> high vibrational love and an ascended love. And now I see a butterfly flying around outside my window. Although I think um, that's actually a person who's very close to me that we are having this team helping this person right now to um, just helping them to either make a decision to stay in their body here on planet Earth or move on to the, to the other side. And we've been with her now for a few days. Um, and she's shown up for me as a butterfly a couple of times now. So it might just be that for me. But if that resonates with you, take that and run with it. So I just said green and then like the crown chakra, like indigo uh, pink or purple. Uh, it just feels like green and, and the crown. And that here is like high vibrational love and ascending love, which is love is the green and, and um, high vibrational is the crown. 
So this is exactly what comes out. We have standing very high up and then we have like an ascended heart. So here starts the ascension process. And then <clears throat> we want love for September for Gemini, please. That was easier. Lead. Coming into your own, coming into your light, coming into your heart. So we're just going to have, uh, let's see, with the time here. I'm going to start here to talk. I feel like there's so much information in this. So obviously this is you and this is your source is what I'm seeing. Usually I'm seeing this is like a mirror, like your divine counterpart as a mirror, mirror entity, if that makes sense. Today I'm seeing it as your source. That for July for Gemini is a lot whether you're a single and you want to meet somebody whether you're single and you don't want to meet somebody whether you're in a, an already established committed relationship it doesn't matter what your status is uh, for July the the energy is about connecting with source to we have just breathe which is all about like you can sit in meditation you can just make a real effort to connect with source for July. And four is all about the heart and four is all about laying a new foundation for yourself. So it's a bigger, it seems like it's a bigger, um, it's about a bigger connection with, um, not a bigger connection. It seems like it's bigger that you connect with source than you connect with your divine counterpart right now. Well, that is your divine count counterpart, if you ask me. And then for uh, August, you're ascending your heart. You this this connection with soars. So for right now, I don't feel so much about the romantic type of love, like boy meets girl. <laughs> I always say that wrong. I said that right now. Boy meets girl, or girl meets girl, or etc. However you want to have have your sexual preference. Um, this is more like we are focusing in on you you and your connection with source and through that climbing higher in your love for yourself coming into the love vibration this is an ascended heart you're ascending your heart number seven for me is like it's um it's a completion when you're done you're done i, I had my cake story a while back i talked over and over again about my cake story and i figured People got tired of it, so I stopped saying it. But it's such a beautiful thing. Is when you mix all those beautiful ingredients together, you've done the work when you really have sat down with the intention to connect with your inner being, to really be with your source, and worked on it and worked on it, and you put those ingredients together, you make a beautiful cake, and you put it in the oven, and you make it bake for a bit, and then you take it out, and it's time to enjoy it. And so it feels like this is the ascension part where like you worked on connecting with source, which has allowed or started to allow uh, your heart to ascend. And it's time to start to um, experience having the experience that an ascended heart brings. I can't, I can't ignore it. So, yeah, that's happening here as well. So we have the blue-greenish color on the bottom, but then we're sort of coming into yellow. And we have the green here on the bottom, and we're coming into yellow, right? And I talked over and over again, whatever color this is, but we're coming in to the yellow. Um... I, I don't I don't fully myself know what this means just yet. I just keep talking about this explosion of the solar plexus chakra, the solar plexus energy center. I understand that the love vibration is the most important vibration, is the most important, is love a frequency? I'm going to not talk about that because I don't know that 100%. Interesting, I've never thought about that. Or I did and I just forgot in the moment. Love is the highest possible vibration. Love and harmony is just what we're seeking. It is such a good vibe. 
Um, but there's something with solar, the solar plexus chakra that is going on that will allow us to harness higher frequency energy, if that makes any sense. It's like we already have around us all this high vibrant energy. And if we just infuse it right now into our bodies, we probably wouldn't handle it. But in the but with an but with the connection with your source, with an ascended heart, you will be able to start to harness this higher energy. And there's something going on with the solar plexus energy center that it, that has very much to do with that. Not to confuse that love is only the heart or the the heart energy center. Love is all. Love is a vibration, right? And there's something here, well-deserved reward. So with this, I feel like you're, it's so well-deserved. You did it. You have climbed this ladder. You, you're, you're making a decision to be here right now on planet Earth, where a lot of people feels like it's chaotic and hard and tough and what, whatnot. And, but you're just very confidently so, standing there up on this pla plateau or platform, and it's like, I, I did it. I stepped into this uh, solar plexus ascended heart place. And you're so deserving of it. Come September. You seem to just come out completely of, of your shadow side. Leaving the old behind. Leaving the shadow side behind altogether. And stepping into the lead, like stepping into your true power. And we have a love heart just sitting around your neck. And if this is like the Akashic Records, if this is the, I never learned, scrolls. You say scrolls. Like you, you have the information here about ancient wisdom. Like this is, this is what it looks like to live a life in love. And I don't talk about in love with your partner, in love with your children, in love with your, you know, with nature and so forth. In, in the love vibration. In the higher dimensional love vibration, I should say. Number four there again, which is a heart matter and laying a new foundation. So there's a new foundation for love being laid down here right now. This is so fascinating. We're going to go deeper into this in the extended, if that feels interesting. But now we're going to move on. There's too much to cover here. We're going to move on to the career. The career of July for Gemini. Career. Nope. Career. Seems to be a lot of love though. Um, Ten of Raphael. This is your happily ever after. Completion. Uh, King of Michael. Very, very high energy around you. Uh, two of Ariel. The conversation, communication with in the love vibration. And four of Gabriel, which is a commitment to someone. And since this is your career, this is your job. Let's see what this is about. So 10 of Raphael. So there's this. It's very much like the Taurus reading. Not, um, not Aries, but Taurus. So you have, if you have a um, if you have a connection with Taurus, check it out. So I feel like the love is bleeding into your career. And obviously... If we think in the old ways, if we think th third dimensional stuff, you know, you know, I, I always love when people say, yeah, I've, I've gotten so far away from my spirituality. I've gotten so far away from my, uh, like doing uh, spirit work. So this weekend I'll, I'll do spirit work or this weekend I'll go away for a ret retreat and I connect with spirit. And it's like, you know, you're constantly in, co in, in connection with spirit whether you're uh, way, way, way more allowing it, making a conscious sitting down, connect, connecting, or 
or you're just really not listening whatsoever. But there's always this spiritual journey going on because you are source. There's no difference. There's no separation. So it's very interesting to me when somebody says, I haven't done this. I haven't done source for a bit. Hmm. You sort of have because you are it. Um, and here it feels like, so when I say blood bleeds into your career, you know what I mean. It's not like I'm so in love with this person and our love together bleeds in. That was a little bit more for Taurus. But here is like, okay, you are source and you're making an effort to really connect with source. And as you connect with source, that's going to have an effect of e on everything. And so I feel this first like this love and blessings fill your life. Love and blessings fill your life. Take that to a higher like understand that if you are connected to source to love to harmony love and blessings then will fill your life right the the rest is also extensions you are an extension of source as are your stuff work harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after so there's something about you connecting with source is going to seep into your work environment and then we have the King of Michael. It just shows that you are in a very high vibrational state right now with Michael wanting to move stuff forward. And then we had two of Ariel, which is the communication on a love level. Being, um, bringing the, the, do you see the yin yang? Meh. The yin yang uh, symbol there, working together with the infinity sign, endless possibilities. As long as you're in in balance, balance around in the infinity sign is like bringing so many opportunities right now. As you as you come into your connection with Source, that's going to bring about so many connections for you, opportunities. And there's this commitment. So if this is a commitment. This could be a couple of things. This could be a commitment to somebody actually entering your life through your work situation, through your work environment. Or this could be um, you're making a commitment to work, like to, to your passion, if that makes sense. So four is the third four coming out. Again, it's a heart matter. And you're laying a new foundation for four, for your life. It's a new vantage point. It's a new uh, frequency point, if you will. That's for July. Come August, what can we give? Gemini for August for career. So whatever you worked on in July there is going to really, really benefit you in August. That it's going to allow freedom. And simultaneously, remember, you're doing the ascension with your heart. You're ascending your heart. You're climbing the ladder of, of vibration. So you're really high up here. Um, and so that love, like we said, we're going to love and blessings fill your life. So Remember that the, this ascension process is going on at the same time here. And, and whatever you did there career-wise or passion-wise has allowed for you to break free. Whatever situation you've been in, whatever um, burdensome situation, whether this is financial, whether this is just old belief systems, whether, whatever this is that you're leaving behind, you're free. Like, And I feel like this is going so much deeper now. It's not just... You're free from this job. You went you went to this nine to five job every day. And although that is beautiful as well, if that is the case and you're you're like for ten years or for five years, I have not wanting to be there. I wanted to branch out and do my own thing or whatever. And then you just couldn't see yourself doing it. And then and then you're finally finding a chance to do so. Of course that's brilliant. That's just well deserved re reward as well. That is just so beautiful. But I feel like this is going deeper. I shouldn't say but. So I should say and. 
there's something else simultaneously going deeper where you are free from your old paradigm. I mean, I called it for just as a fluke, not a fluke, but like um, when I wanted to name this channel and I ended up with a new era. I mean, the more I've done this and the more we come into these new energies, it's like a new era. It's pretty good. It's like, it's actually what we're doing. Um, because it didn't feel like it was like a super important choice at the time. I just wanted to have something. And then that showed up in my head and that was that. Um, but this is a very much a new era. And if, if you stepped into the new era, it means that you've, you've left the old paradigm behind. And you have, like, look at this. Like you're opening the, you're getting a lot of help. Like you feel the guidance from your source. If we could, there you go. No, nope. well, there's shackles. Like you left the shackles behind on around your feet. There's a rope that is sitting around your foot, but it, it hasn't, it doesn't have you around its foot. You can sort of leave it whenever you want to. You open the gates and you're leading with authenticity. You're leading with a blue color. It says you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. I think you've started to see things clearly. More clear than you've ever seen things before. Eight. Uh, we've never had... Never. Yeah, we had the infinite sign there with the um, balancing, bal balancing, sing act. Um, so the eight endless possibilities. You're opening the, you're opening up the gates to endless possibilities right now. You truly can be free, and it's not just free from the old job, stepping into a new job, being really passionate about something new here. This is changing a paradigm. This is leaving the old version of you behind. And therefore, you can attract completely new, like you can start your own business, you can, you can do whatever you want. So August is quite the transformative month for you, where you just, you know, you're changing things about you from the inside out. And then come September, what do we have to say for Gemini in September for career? Make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. You're becoming quite the magician. And it's sitting right under it for the love there, where you're coming out of your shadow side. You're leaving the old paradigm, right? You're stepping into the light, perhaps even the limelight. We're going to go deeper and figure that out in the extension. And for, for work, it's like you're creating whatever you want. Free whatever you want because you can have it right now. You're stepping into that kind of energy in September. Make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So if you feel like, yay, good, I got all I needed. This is perfect for July, August, and September. That's it. But if you want to go deeper into the message, if you want to find out more about this ascension and uh, whatever you can create here for yourself, uh, you're so welcome to the extended. The link to that is in the description box down below. If not, beautiful people, I will see you again in August. Take much care of you. Bye.